just getting to the end of licensing and insurance. Yeah. So we're getting okay. to the end of their business proposal here, and I'm just kind of critiquing it here. So last step was the capital requirements, permit, licensing, insurance. We had discussed that he's looking at about five hundred to a thousand dollars annually to keep the business running to some degree, right? So no. an external trainer's permit yes. is the name of the permit we have yeah. to look into. Yeah. You have well, to be. Yep. That's that's annually too, and then you would also okay. have to get um, monthly membership out of the city of Edmonton facility. Oh, you still have to pay for oh, your yeah. own membership. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Yeah, yeah, and it's and I mean, unfortunately, here with the city of Edmonton, um, you know, there's very serious restrictions on training. Like you can only train two people at a time. So keep that in mind. Okay. Group training would have to exist somewhere else. Mm, yes. Wow. Okay. Keep that in mind. There is restrictions and business barriers all over the world. This is no different, right? At least they're giving us an opportunity here to utilize their facility at a decent price. Right. And the facility here is top notch, so can't, can't complain. Can't complain. Yeah, can't complain. Okay. Excellent. So that's essentially the business proposal. Uh, yeah. We'll definitely go over the major steps, which is elaborate. Right. You definitely need yes. to elaborate. I'll go over it. Right. So if you want, I could just break down to the, the viewers yeah. what I absorbed from this conversation. Yeah, for sure. Go for it. So from I came here today to just to learn about getting set up for a business proposal. He's been in the industry for a while, so I'm just taking and learning as much as I can from him. So I got a template on my phone to ask him questions on what I've already completed. And this is what I got from this. So I learned that I'm going to have to be going to the business advisory board to find out if I should be doing a business partnership or keep it as a corporation, just to see what best, what best fits our needs, myself and Trayvon's. Um, I learned and what we touched on was that I should be more specific in my answers when I'm discussing things about my company. For instance, if they're saying something like, what are your strengths? I shouldn't just say fitness. I'd have to go more in depth on what type of fitness, where am I going with this? These are things that I learned. Something else is like you were just mentioning a few seconds ago or a minute ago was getting my externals, external trainers permit, which will allow me to work in City of Edmonton locations, which I didn't know previously until today. So that's something else. And to follow up on getting my social media content Mentorship. Mentorship. Yeah. Yeah. From the friend that I have, I'm gonna definitely get in touch with him. Perfect. So these is these are things that I just got from this meeting and it was very useful. Excellent. Stay tuned for more with Rama Wellness. I'm my boy Alan, Trayvon. We keep rolling. Keep learning.